So this is question one from the May um, 2018 AS paper for the A-level mathematics. So this is the Edexcel paper. So for question one, it's just an integration question. Um, so a pretty basic expression. Um, hopefully you can see it clearly here, but if not, this is two over three times x cubed minus six times root x plus one dx. So to integrate, remember, we just go term by term. Um, so we've got two over three times x cubed. So remember, we add one to the power, divide by the new power. So this is going to be two over three. Um, it's going to be two over three. Two over three. So it's going to be x to the four, and then I'm going to times it by the new power. Uh, sorry, divide by the new power. So if I divide by four, that's going to be the same as times it by a quarter. So I'm going to times it by a quarter. So if I times it by a quarter, this will be a twelve on the bottom because it'd be. I do it over here. So what it is is two over three times a quarter, like that. So that'll give me two over twelve, which is that. Lots times x to the four. Then I've got six times root x. Now remember, root x we can write as using the laws of indices, x to the power of a half. That's really like bad notation, uh, but hopefully you can see it um, clearly. So that's x to the half, so that's going to be minus 6x to the half. Well, if we add 1 to that, that's going to be 2 over 2, so that's going to give me x to the 3 over 2. And then I've got to divide through by it, so that's going to be minus 6x to the 3 over 2. And then divide through by 3 over 2. And we'll simplify that in a second. And then the plus 1, remember, will just be plus x. And don't forget, we have no limits on the integral, so we need our plus c at the end. Plus c. Well, this we can simplify. We can simplify this as well. Obviously, this and this we can't do anything else with. So let's simplify this as we go along. So 2 over 12, that's going to be x to the 4 over 6. You could have wrote that as 1 over 6 times x to the 4. I'm just going to write that. It looks a little bit neater. This, well, 6 divided by 3 over 2. If I take the 2 on top and time, it's going to be 12x. And then divide it by the 3, it's going to give me plus, uh, sorry, minus 4x. That should be a 4, minus 4x. So 3 over 2. My writing's really bad today. Plus x, plus x, and then plus the c. So I hope that's helped. So that's each term in its simplest form. And if you find the video helpful, guys, please do subscribe and check out any further videos on these example papers.